Okay folks, back with another video here, uh, just going to show you how I tie the muddler minnow. I'll put everything I use in the description box below, but and I'll talk you through it as I go. So I've got a Camasan B175 size 8 here, and I'm using black uni thread and 8 So just to get started as usual, give your base thread a few passes through the wax. And then just start a few mils from the front. Just run your thread down. Nice touch and turn so you've got a good base. And I'll just run it down to just behind the point and before the barb. Cut away the waste piece. And then the tail is just turkey tail. I've got the cinnamon version, but you could use a lighter version. Up to yourself. So just take take your turkey. And just get a left and a right. And what you want to do is set it dull side in, so have the the brighter colour standing out. Just line them up, set them just just slightly on the side of the shank, and then just come up, pinch the thread in, and just drop it in tight. There we go. That's all right there. Yeah. Then just, what I'll do at this stage is just bring my thread up, just to make sure it's tied in. And then, roughly where you want the body to end, cut it at an angle, just so it tapers down. Nice. And just tidy that up. And then the way back down, tie in your wire. I've just got gold, gold wire here, um, small, and so just take a length of that, tie it in, just catch it in and run down. Catch it on the side and then cross it over to the other if you want, just to balance it up a bit. And also it makes it turn well when you're going up at the back, like the first turns sometimes tidier if you do that. So after that, we bit of wax and then get your tinsel. In this case you could use holographic or whatever, but I'm just going to use regular gold. And this is a size. 10, but you could use smaller, so not too much, just as long as it wraps all right. So just catch that in on the side. Just catch that in on the side, like so. And then just relatively neat turns, because you're going to be winding turns over this, so as long as it's kind of roughly neat, just wind it up to where you want the body to end. Just a bit there, see? Because you, you want to leave space for the deer hair up at the front, so. Just wrap that there. Slightly overlapping. Bring it up towards the top. And I'll end it just about there. Just bring it up, bring the thread up, and just tighten down on that. Cut away the waste, and then get your wire and bring that up, turn near the back, and then just 
roughly try and evenly space them as you run up and then just catch it in, keep the thread tight, keep the wire tight the bobbin the way the bobbin will hold it tight enough and then just tighten up a few good turns and then you just bend the wire back and forward sometimes spin it like so and break away so under the wing you have natural squirrel tail in this case uh, so just take a small bunch of that and what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the stacker but you don't really have to do that just I've got one here so And just be careful when you're taking the fibres out, you don't want to affect the, the way they're stacked, so just get up at the right amount, that's maybe a wee bit too much, so just take some of the fibres that look a bit more straight out. And what you want to do is, before you tie this in, make sure your thread's waxed. And tie it in, just few mils into the tail again just bring your thread up, pinch it drop it down on it if you lose turns then run it forward and tighten up make sure it's sitting on the top then put it at a, at a bit of an angle just tie that down and now for the wing you can put a wee crease in it if you want to get it sitting back but the way it is is fine at the moment again wax your thread and for the wing you get your turkey tail again this time take off two bits that are slightly bigger for the wing and again just off the other side again what you want to do is light side on the inside so that'll be my left that'll be my right, just match them up again set them just over the side Bring the thread up, drop it down, tighten up on it, that's sitting quite good there. Then what you want to do is, cut that away again, sorry my fingers run away there, but cut that away and then just tighten down on it, tidy up. wee stray fibre there, just cut that away and now what you want to do is for the top you want to get deer hair, I've cut some away off this as you can see uh, and just get a good bunch first make sure you've got a wee bit of wax in the thread and take a good take a good bunch out just cut it away this stuff does make some mess, but cut it away and, and roughly get them level. And then what you can do is, I use a toothbrush and just brush the under fur out. See it gathering there. Now I'm just going to stack this, You don't again you don't really have to, but I'm going to do it. Careful when you drop it in, and then bring it out. Now, what you want to do is just be careful. We hold it 
tight and then you want to keep these brown fibres so half halfway through the wing roughly and now the way you want to do this is give it one loose turn two loose turns and then tighten down on it and let the let the deer hair spin and bring your thread towards the eye then what you want to do is push push all the deer hair back just keep pushing it back create yourself a bit of space push the deer hair back, don't worry about some of it coming out just keep pushing it back and then what you want to do is get another wee bunch so that it's more this time now this time what you can do is you don't need the tips this is just a bit more bulk up at the deer hair so again just comb it out cut the tips off and the same again just set it on top one turn, two turn, tighten up, let it spin, and then just again push all that back. Just take your time, push it back, keep working it back, and then just come in in the front and just start building up a wee head. You're not going to get really a perfect head but it'll be it'll be good definitely good enough to catch some fish whether you're river fishing or log fishing or whatever and now that we've got that wee head there just give us a wee pass of the wax and what I'll do here is instead of using the quick finish tool and try to get it in there I'll just do the half hitch with the end of the the bobbin so two fingers on top of the thread bring it round and make an X and then catch that on to the end just take that up to the eye and just bring the thread over over the eye so I'll just again like so bring it up to the eye just drop it over just do this a few times till you feel as if it's secure enough. Tighten it up. That's four there. Now I'll do is cut the thread away and then what I'll do is I'll get the cuff scissors and just start in close this is a messy bit and just start shaping the head of the muddler which have, you know people have got their preferences so just obviously as I've said before with this kind of stuff no exact science just whatever you think looks good and you're confident fishing with but roughly start start shortening it and then op you know, open it up a bit as you get further back I think the trick is probably just knowing when to stop Obviously just be careful not to cut the brown fibres at the top They're the ones you want to keep Just kind of glue them away
黑剪刀。You can really cut as much as you want off, as well as you want off. But you just want to have enough so that it, you know, swims on the surface, just under the surface, on the surface, round about there. Yeah, it's good fun to tie this. Fly it can be footy, but um, once you get the rough hang yeah. It will come together for you. Now I'd say that's quite good there, and you can see the brown under fibers there sticking back, the wings there. I think that's looking quite good. Just a few fibers in there. You could even straighten up the edges just by going round at right angles. So that's up to yourself. I think this looks quite good the way it is. So obviously the head in there, you just need to get a wee bit of, I'm not going to super glue this because I don't want to get super glue in amongst all the deer hair so I'm just going to use a cocktail stick and a wee bit of varnish and just dab it in. Dab it in a tiny bit as well on the cocktail stick, you don't want a lot, you don't want to saturate the fibres, so just a wee tiny bit, and then just dab it in, make sure the eye is clear as well, just dab that in, and uh, you can give it a few coats of varnish, dab it in. There we go folks, that's a muddler minnow. I appreciate you watching, thanks very much. Tight lines, hope the fly works well for you. All the best.